you guys all... saying that, let's pivot to with the video I put at the beginning. One thing the young man said, and you could tell me if it's true or not, that as for young boys growing up, you guys are you guys are not taught about marriage. You guys are not taught about being a husband. You guys are taught to make sure you work. Make sure you work. <laughs> and the most that comes to you guys thinking about marriage is proposing. Is that true? Chef, you want to go first or? Sure. On on one of the previous uh, fatherhood sips that we have on my channel, we did a whole episode where we talked about, we always tell the boys about this is what you have to do. This is your duty as a husband. Mm -hmm. But we never talk to them about vetting, courting, dating, the types of women to choose. We just tell them the rules once they get in there. And I think it's clearly important in terms of the, the, the selection process. Mm -hmm. It's critically important, you know, but bring me the, I want to give me, I want you to give me the exact verbiage of the question. It I'm was, I think, too far. no, you did great. But um, with the video I played at the beginning, the young man was saying that, you know what, for them growing up as a young man, they're not taught to, you know, they're not taught to, um, to about marriage and being a husband. They're mostly taught to be, um, work, work hard. So right, the women most... do it more though. I believe yes. that because <laughs> of the way society, and and when I say the women, I mean even in terms of their sons, women will give more advice. You know, in terms of no, you don't talk to a girl like that. You always respect the woman. You always do this and that. You never do this. You never do that. Why don't you get her some flowers? You know. Yeah. Women have a tendency to share those things naturally with each other. You know, I don't always see brothers doing it because naturally mm. men don't teach men. Men show men. Okay. But Women, isn't that still a for form of teaching? It's, it's no, because mm -hmm. it's not intentional. Mm -hmm. It's situational. Mm -hmm. All right. A boy seeing his dad go to the bathroom and stand up to pee. Yes. That's something that situation that like mm -hmm. it's shown, right? Mm -hmm. But if the mother who normally sits down and is raising a boy on her own, right. she's going to say, no, little Johnny, you have to stand up because little Johnny may end up trying to sit down. Right. So, right. so I believe that naturally the, the mothers are the teachers. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, so it's just what y'all do. So yeah. you guys have a tendency to do that too. Like really said about uh, the Western concept of lovey-dovey. Now I'm about to spice you up real quick. Hey, Chantel. Foreplay, foreplay <laughs> is, a Western, is a Western concept. <laughs> okay. Right? But we, you, we can you're taking us down a rabbit hole right now. <laughs> nah, it's, it's real talk. It, it, it coincides with the lovey-dovey, but we can catch that part later. Go ahead. Yeah. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, we're like, going to get that part. But yeah, really, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Rila. No, I was going to say, because uh, you touched on a couple of points. Um, oh. Man, you touched on a couple of points, bro. So let me let me say this about teaching. Mm -hmm. There's a difference when a father is with his son and they're working on the car and he's telling the exact tools to use. That's mm -hmm. teaching, right? What What young boys see for the most part, the fathers are not telling them by and large. I know this is general. So right. by and large, father's not saying these are the things to look for. These are the things you do in the marriage. This is how you be, be prepared to be a husband. When I was growing up, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> look at me sounding old. When I was growing up, you know, I saw Mr. Reed. I saw how he treated his wife. I saw how he opened the door with my granddad. I saw my the granddad work from can't see to can't see. Right. It's where I get my work ethic from. Mm. But I wasn't taught these things. There wasn't verbal instruction given. There wasn't um, follow up or follow through. Right. right. And those things are critical as it relates to teaching our boys, uh, like Chef was saying, how to vet your woman, what you should be looking for in a woman. Right. And, and, and number one, and most importantly, men should know who they are. Maybe you should have a good, solid foundation of who you are before you get out here, running around, hot in the pants, trying to, you know, look for a wife. But right. what I will say also, <laughs> one of the things we are definitely taught, and I know this is daytime talk TV, but 
You know, a lot of a lot of our young men are taught to be slut monkeys before they talk to be men. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, I know that's your verbiage. Um, can you break it down for some people who might not know? Because I, I, I do have well, like. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do have older people that listen and then we like what? <laughs> um a slut monkey is a person who is promiscuous. Okay. And they are very active sexually mm -hmm. and don't take into account that they are irresponsible at best and are putting other people's daughters yes. or what have you at risk. Yeah. Creating soul ties and all types of stuff. Um yeah, that's a yeah, slut month. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I'm I'm glad that you 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 cleared that up and you said what you said because it, that kind of also goes into the fact of when you guys are saying that you guys are not taught, you guys are not um not taught, but you see these things, so you kind of like internalize it, thinking that okay, this is this is natural what we're supposed to do as men, and marriage is like on the back burner, right? Is that kind of summing up a little bit of what you're trying to say when you're saying that okay we're not really taught about marriage we might learn you know actions like um chef said from our friends and different men but not necessarily taught that and the things that we do see like being a promiscuous you know man then it now to internalize to this is what we're supposed to be doing would you say that's correct in this in the realms of what you were trying to say in that? For me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm glad that we were able to clear that up because it's important for women when that leads to what we're going to talk about is pressure, being pressured, men, pressuring men, as opposed to is it just her standards? Like, is she just coming to the stay table saying, no, this is my standards? Because we got to first understand the mindset, the upbringing of the different sex. So for men, it's not really taught. And they are looking, they are, you know, um, being shown that marriage, you know, this, this is not at the top of our list. This is what we're trying to do out here. And then for women, as Chef has said, and I agree, for women, we're mostly like already planning out the wedding, you know, before we're five. <laughs> so, um, they always buy flowers, always show up on time. They always make calls, always on that FaceTime. Something about